What actually moves the stock market? And let me give you a hint. It's not so much what as it is who. Welcome back to the channel, guys. It's me, Adam. You are watching Steady Invest. And I'm going to be starting off with these two points. Number one, we understand the companies that we're investing in are worth millions, billions, or trillions of dollars. We know this from each company's market capitalization. Number two, we also understand that supply and demand moves money in and out of a stock. Meaning, if demand is higher than supply, money is going to be flowing into the stock, causing the share price to go up. On the contrary, when supply is higher than demand, money is going to be flowing out of the stock, causing the share price to go down. So when you put two and two together, these companies are worth millions or billions or trillions of dollars, and money needs to flow in and out of a stock to move it. You need big money to move a stock, and that's exactly it. It's these hedge funds, institutions that have billions and billions of dollars that are ultimately dictating where the stock market is going. All right, thanks Adam for that. I don't have a million dollars to my name. What good is what you're telling me? The key you want to take from this is to find these deals before Wall Street or big money does. Of course, this is easier said than done. You need to do a lot of research. You need to do a lot of due diligence to find these deals. But if you do, and Wall Street finds it after you, you could ride that wave of the stock price going up and you maximize your profits. You're essentially a surfer riding that wave of money as high as you can go. This is also why it's important not to buy into the hype when buying into stocks. By the time you hear about a stock on YouTube or online, chances are big money has already entered that stock. And by the time you buy into that hype stock, that big money, also called smart money, is going to start taking the profit. And then the price is going to start going down and down and down and then you're going to be left there, as they say, holding the bag and it is the worst feeling. So make sure you don't buy on hype, emotions, and buy on logic, analysis. This is why looking at volume is also important. You can see how much money is being exchanged between investors. The higher the volume, the more money that's being exchanged, the more impactful of the share price movement. Anyway, that's all I have for my video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you haven't already and you're new to the channel, please subscribe, like the video, it helps me a lot, and drop me a comment, let me know what you guys think. Have a good day, see you guys in the next video.